Another week, another updated desktop connector. Okay, I exaggerate, but it sure feels like this little application is getting a lot of attention from the developers lately. So why don't we jump in the computer and take a look, make sure that we're not missing anything important. Hello and welcome to CRUG. Thank you for joining us. My name is David. At CRUG, we talk about BIM and BDC in general and Revit in particular. We've been doing it since 2007. If you'd like to join our community, please consider subscribing to the channel. And we also have a LinkedIn group you could join and join the conversation. Let's take a look at Autodesk Desktop Connector. If not already installed with your Revit distribution, you can find Desktop Connector in Autodesk Access under your account. Take a look at all products and services and you will be able to find it there to download and install. If you Google Autodesk Desktop Connector, you will also find the help page, which contains a link to the latest download. I'll leave the link down below in the description. Desktop Connector is essentially a cloud sync utility, allowing you to take files that are stored in the cloud and syncing them with your local machine, kind of like OneDrive or Dropbox, for instance. But it's made specifically to work with Autodesk products such as Revit in Autodesk Construction Cloud or BIM 360. After you have the software installed, you'll need to select the projects that you want to sync locally. You can find Desktop Connector in the system tray. And if you go into the Options wheel and click Select Projects, you will be able to navigate to any projects that you are a member of. Make sure the project you want is checked and it will be set up for sync. Now here's where things get a little bit interesting. When you install some Autodesk applications, Autodesk Drive will get installed alongside with them. Autodesk Drive will show up under the root of your computer. It will look just like any other physical or network drive that is mounted to your system. That is Autodesk Drive. Desktop Connector can also sync files with Autodesk Drive, but today we're going to be taking a look at how it works with Docs in Autodesk Construction Cloud. Autodesk Docs files get placed under your Windows user folder. When you look at your desktop, you will see Autodesk Docs is going to show up there. So this leads me to a slight criticism of Desktop Connector. Because Desktop Connector stores files in a folder that is under your Windows user folder, that means those files are getting stored on your C drive. If we look at Autodesk Docs right here, and we look at the properties of these folders, you will notice that the path is C, Users, then of course your name, and the rest of the path. If your system has a small C drive just for Windows and you like to keep your data files in say D drive or some other separate drive, you could run into a situation where you're running out of space on your C drive pretty quickly if you're working on a large project. I've been looking for a solution to this, but haven't really found anything. As far as I can tell, you're not able to specify the path for where Desktop Connector is saving files locally. If I'm wrong, however, please put it down in the comments. It would be really good to know. Once you have selected the projects you want to sync from Autodesk Construction Cloud Docs to your local machine, this works much like any other file cloud storage solution like OneDrive or Dropbox. You'll see there's a status icon that shows a little cloud. That just means that some of what's in that folder is only in the cloud and hasn't downloaded locally. If I navigate to one of these folders with some of the links that I've downloaded already, you will see that I've got a little check mark that means those files have downloaded locally. Like any other type of cloud storage solution, you have the option of selecting files that you want to keep locally for offline use. Any file you link or open will be downloaded, of course. That's why these show up with a green check mark. But you also have the ability to select files or folders to always keep on this device. So far, so good. This is all pretty standard. Where things get a little bit more nuanced is when you're working in Revit with cloud models or cloud work shared models, you don't want to be opening those from the sync folders. For example, I will go into my construction folder here. My self-performed models live here, and you can see by this icon that this is a cloud work shared model. To open either one of these files, you want to make sure that in Revit, you're opening these up from the cloud and not from your local C drive. Desktop Connector will sync a copy of the current published file onto your system, which is not where you want to be working. Here we have the same folder, 03 Construction. Here you can see in File Explorer, I'm seeing the synced files, and in the web browser and docs, that's what's in the cloud. If we go into Revit, we have a couple of choices. 
we can go to file open, which gives us the ability to browse through the local machine. To be clear, this is not what we want to do with cloud models. Or you can go into Autodesk Projects, which is the cloud location. Choose your project, navigate to the location of your cloud models, and open the file from here, not from the file open menu. Hopefully that makes sense. It becomes a little bit more obvious in the link dialog box if you're trying to link somebody else's detached model into yours. Let's try that. I'm in my model, just in a 3D view, and I want to insert the architect's model. I'm going to come over to the insert panel, link Revit. Then in this dialog box, we have an option that we haven't seen anywhere else, this external resources location. External resources is essentially the cloud. Here we've got Autodesk Docs. It knows the project I'm in because of the model I have open, so it's the only one that shows up. And I can navigate through the same folders. But if I go to Design and then Design Links, notice that this is empty. Well, what gives? This folder has a bunch of stuff in here locally on my machine. And if we look at Docs in the browser, there are two Revit files in here. So why is this location empty? Well, it's simple. It's because we're looking in a location that's looking at the cloud, and those two RVTs are not cloud models. This is where I think it gets really confusing. If you look at your local machine in the pull-down, you've got external resource Autodesk Docs with this little black Autodesk logo. But here you've got Autodesk Docs with a different logo. Same name, different logo. This is the cloud. This is your local machine. This is the Autodesk Docs that corresponds to Desktop Connector. I wish they had called these things something different. It gets pretty confusing and it's easy to get it wrong. But this is what we have for the time being. Here we are able to navigate through the folders that Desktop Connector has synced up. Now, in the Design Links folder, you can see that all of the files that are in the local machine show up. Let's go ahead and take this model here, which is a detached model, and link it in. Now, I know I'm throwing around a lot of terms. Cloud model, cloud work shared model, central model, detached model. If you're not all that clear on what those things are, please leave me a comment, let me know. I can make another video that I can put up on that topic. Now, that's a pretty good reminder. If you subscribe to the channel, that's how you're going to get notified when that video comes out. Thank you for taking a deep dive into Desktop Connector with me today. I hope you found it interesting. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. We'll see you on the next one.